Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Back. I was like, for, usually I'm, I am, you know, I take my, my clock from this right side and put it like right in front of me so I can keep up with the time. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, this is a first. Very comfortable, very chill. It's like I'm talking to a pen pal from back in the days. So we finally get to see each other for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So welcome that back. That was awesome. Yes. Thank I was, you. Yeah, because I usually I would be like, "Thank you for coming to Spotlight Radio Show. Thank you for the interview." You know, but um, I can say that it feels, it, you know, it feels like I'm just talking to one of my friends. I really appreciate you. I really thank you. For well, you know what, dear. Uh huh. <clears throat> You are talking to one of your friends. Thank you. Thank you. So. And, and I just, I, I appreciate it. And, you know, if you ever need anything, you know, give me an oh. address and they're already dead. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Now, now, what part of Texas are you in? I am in Montgomery, Texas. I am about an hour and 40 minutes northwest of Houston. Houston. Okay, so is that by... Uh... Birthplace of the, the Texas flag. Okay. And I'm going to say... Who gave birth to a flag? Was it a quilt? I think so. <laughs> you said birthplace of the Texas flag, and I'm so I'm picturing yeah, this yeah, it was flag being born. I thought so. Did it start out yeah. in a quilt? Was yeah, it a mama it, quilt that birthed the right. baby flag. You know how did this happen? Right, true. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I do. Now you now you better make me do some real research. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I am um, kind of close to Huntsville. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm in between Huntsville and Houston, but I'm out west, like going back to um, Bryan College Station, Aggies, Aggie Land. Okay, so 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 what now? So you would, if you were flying in there, you'd fly into Houston Airport, right? Yes, fly into Houston. Yes, yes, go into United, go to Bush. Yeah, I I flew into Houston for uh, a. Adorable film, and then filmed in. I can't remember where the little town was way outside of there. Uh, that's about to get released called uh, Undying. Mm. One of these things where James Logan wrote the film, okay, and he's a stunt guy. Uh -huh. That uh, I have thrown James Logan across more rooms than people that I hate. <laughs> we're always we're always getting in those situations where I'm the big guy that picks him up and throws him across the room, <laughs> and um, and because uh, he's only about a buck sixty, buck seventy, you know, so I can pick him up and chuck him pretty easy. Okay. And uh, but he he the guy has just he'd been just like a dear friend, and he's done you know been solid, done my back cut in my back a couple of times. Mm -hmm. so he calls me up and says I wrote this script and I want you to read it and I absolutely cringed because I thought oh shit it's a script by a stunt man it's going to be terrible I'm going to have to but I'm going to have to do it anyway because it's James Logan okay you know it's like it's yeah. like your your brother wrote a script and you uh, <laughs> read the script and it was absolutely wonderful wow it was, uh, I, I was so thrilled that it was good. And yes. went to this little, I can't remember what the town was. Damn it! But, um, and uh, then found out that there was one of my, a fan, there was a person that was a fan of mine mm -hmm. from Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. And they said, is there somebody reached me on Facebook and says, is there any chance that you could just take her out to dinner? And oh, wow. we'll pay for the dinner, everything. Uh, but, you know, she's got terminal cancer and 
Mm -hmm. is kind of a, a, you know, she's just a big fan. It would mean a lot. Yeah. And I said, sure, only I will take her. I'll you know, mm -hmm. do it on my, do it on my my own and everything. Right. And right after saying that, I realized, wait, I've got production cars driving me around. I gotta arrange a car and get production involved. And and mm -hmm. it was a one of those shoots where they didn't have things, so she wound up having to come pick me up at okay. my hotel for wow. the day. And and I'm like, okay, what does this look like? I tell this guy, <laughs> yeah, baby, come to my hotel and pick me up. I'll take you out to dinner. <laughs> You yeah, know, uh, it was terrible, and uh, but we went out, had a great time, and mm -hmm. uh, she said, "Oh, that was so great! That was so much fun." She goes, uh, "If there's ever anything I can do for you," I said, "There is something, and mm -hmm. we'll we'll call it even." She said, "What?" I says, "Quit sniveling and fight. Live." Yes. Just just fucking live. Hell yeah. And she has. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, went through some really rough spots, but mm -hmm. uh, back so in the cool. game and back on top. And awesome. she, you know, told me a couple of times, she said, that meant a lot to me that you that you, you said the one thing you wanted me to do was fight. Yes. And sometimes that's all it takes is, you know, it's just a little bit of encouraging mm -hmm. from people. That's right. Absolutely. But you have that power in you and that wonderful smile you got, I will guarantee it. Thank you. You know, I think you have the ability to do a lot with what's going on in the country and what goes on with people's lives. Yeah. You know, <laughs> next, <laughs> next time I'm going through a little, one of my little depression moments, I'm going to call you up and yeah. say, hey, yes, get call me. and smile at me, okay? Call, now. call <laughs> me. One of my best friends, she always says, she, she, um, she named this thing for me. She always says, like, she'll call me or we always talk, especially like, she, matter of fact, she only calls me when something is going on. And she says, I'm calling you because I need your better well." She calls it the better wellness program that I have. <laughs> yep, you got, you definitely got that going on. Oh, definitely man. Got that going on. I try, I try, I try to, you know, encourage. Like you said, you know, live, live. It's about living. Keep living. Exactly. I try not to have any, I don't know. I might have had a few little regrets, but I just, I don't think about the past. I don't think about bad things. I try to keep, I have to keep, like you say, you know, you have to be around positive people. I have to stay positive. You know. Yeah. Now, if someone, I, I like a good can Coke. If somebody takes my uh, my last and only can Coke. Then I can get you a kick their butt. Yeah, I get a little rowdy. And if you go to the store for me and you don't, and you bring me a bottle of Coke, I'm livid. <laughs> I will go bananas. It's yeah. Don't bring me no bottle of Coke. I like I like a bottle of Dr Pepper, a bottle of Sprite, a bottle of water. But if you bring me a bottle of Coke, I am mad. Like I'm teed off. Well, I, I know you're the you're the person that not only you bring you a can of coke, but you reach back with the cooler that's right by the little the little radiators where the cans got frost on the outside of them. Yes, where the coke so damn cold it's got frost on the outside. Of them. That's where. Yes, you're. yes, and sometimes like I like to get mine and like right now I got got a coke um, can coke there on the back porch, so I get it. Rinse it off with warm water and then put it in the freezer, and let it get to where you can't, like you can't shake it, like there's, you can't hear anything when you shake it, and then sit it on a napkin and you know let it marinate a few minutes, and then I go and open it. Yep, and then it's got all those little crystals in the cold. Yes, yes, absolutely. So I wanted to ask you. Oh yeah, your rings. We were talking about your rings. I was oh. like, please, I love. I love silver. I love those authentic rings. Like, and how long have you had them? Well, they they came a little bit at a time. You know, they kind of come with. You know, I start out one or two, but each mm -hmm. each thing's got a a thing behind it. I'm not flipping you off. Okay. <laughs> this is a uh, the ranch that a guy made me because he was so impressed that my album was dedicated to the working man. Yeah. And so he. 
took a real working ranch, forged it, bent it. Yeah. Uh, this is a Hindu god of travel. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there's a bell that goes on my bike I was telling you about. It's called yeah. the Gremlin Bell that matches him. Okay. And what it does is road gremlins is where you get nails in your tires and everything like that. Now, mm -hmm. the guys I ride with, we're, we're traveling down the highway, usually 85, 90 mile an hour on a Harley. Yeah. You know, a bad time for a tire to go out or anything <laughs> like that. So the bells keep the road gremlins away from your tires. Okay. And so then this one here is, uh, wait, okay, can't okay, see him. He's a one-eyed gypsy with a rose in his mouth. Ah. He's always, he's always traveling. He will always looking for love, but he'll never find it because he's only got one eye. Oh, I love it! And um, uh, th this one's here is the guardian of the door. Wait, how come I can't get it up there? Guardian of the door. Okay. You know, so... Uh, in your house, if you had one of these in the side of it, mm -hmm. then bad spirits can't come through your door because he guards the door. Okay. And uh, you need one of them on each hand. And this mm -hmm. is the other guardian. Oh, lucky you. You know, and then this is uh, actually a twin cam Harley, which is the motor on my bike. Mm. Yes. And... Um, now this one here is mm -hmm. the smiling gypsy who is these dead. he's smiling because he's dead and you can't mess with him. Ah. And um, yeah, so so that's where that come from. Okay, and I like. Then, then this bracelet mm -hmm. is actually a primary chain off of a panhead. Whoa! The motor of a Harley. Yes. And this is a bracelet that an artist made for me, a one, one of a kind. Oh, look at those teeth. Yes, I love that. Yeah. And then this one is one that has no meaning at all. I just liked it. Okay. Okay. Bought it at a biker rally. Yes. Ah. It, it doesn't have anything behind it. Okay. So how I am scared to ride a bike. I don't know if it's because it's two wheels and you know like if I'm driving and I see someone on a motorcycle and they put the foot down and I don't know and I remember my cousin one time was like oh you gotta lean in the curves I have a I'm a country girl we have cows we have horse. we don't have any horses I was raised up with cows we still got cows I am scared to get on a horse and scared to get on a motorcycle well Darling, you got to get over that. Um, I will. T I will tell you what I told my daughter when she, mm -hmm. she would. We were up on the horses. So I hit the river, and had to cross the river. Mm -hmm. And she says, "Dad, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know if I can do it." <laughs> and, I, and I told her, I said, "Well, there's two things you can do with fear. Mm -hmm. One." Is you can face them head on. Or two, you can avoid it. Now, 50 yards down, there's a bridge. You can ride the horse 50 yards down mm -hmm. and not have to face your fear. Or you can go across the water and face your fear. Woo! How now, deep was the water? It was the Provo River at high. It was, it was pretty crazy, and it was going pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. But dear old dad here was thinking that if she decided to go across the water we'd mm -hmm. move down the river a little bit to okay. a little safer place mm -hmm. she looked down at the bridge looked down at the water and kicked that horse dove wow. right into the exact wrong place on that river okay. which means I gotta dive my horse into the wrong place too to make sure my daughter's safe Yes, yes. But okay. she came out the other side of that, soaking wet and laughing her butt off. And says, <laughs> it was so much fun. Let's do it again. I said, can we do it again a little further down the street? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if it was a horse or God what saved us on that one. Okay, yes. 
Yeah. Wow. So, but yeah. you know, me, I, me with a horse because it's so high up. You know, if it was low to the ground, I can get on. You know, I and if they didn't raise up, you know, like I see in the movies. You know, you do know they how you have to train them to do that. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, you got to train a horse to rear up like that. To rear, okay. Yeah, see, that's my thing. I'm like, oh, he's going to buck me off and make me, you know, fall off. But mm -mm. No, I, I trained rearing horses and I've trained Liberty horses. And mm -hmm. one of the hardest stunts I've ever done in a movie on Heathens and Thieves was I had to get a horse to run over me. What? In a horse stampede, yeah. And a horse will not do it. The horse does not run run over you. They wow. will do everything in their power to not hit you. Oh, They're, wow. Um, uh, and when you're riding a horse, being on a horse, horses are just like anybody else. Mm -hmm. And they're they're in tune like a female, almost like all horses. Here, here's the trick. Okay. In my opinion, to getting along and being good friends with every female I know of. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I'm an expert on females. I am an expert on horses, but okay. but uh, but the, the trick is listening to them. Mm. That's about it. Listen, now, okay. I get guys that would say, oh, "I yeah, I know how to ride horses and everything like that." Then they get on a movie set. Django Unchained was one of the prime examples that half the stuntmen that got on horses got thrown on their ass because, and I would tell them. I'd see him sitting on the horse, and the horse's mm -hmm. ears would just pin back. I said, you know her ears are pinned, right? Uh-oh. So what does that mean? I said, she's telling you she don't like the way you're sitting in that saddle. Oh. So some horses you sit back, some horses you sit up. Mm -hmm. But it's as easy as watch their ears and adjust until the horse is comfortable. Okay. If I'm going to take you for a ride on my back. Mm-hmm. Don't you think it's fair that you ride where I'm comfortable? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't You're you right. think it's fair that I carry you where I'm comfortable? Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to be carried where I'm comfortable, I might drop your sorry ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, okay. The horse, is the same, the horse is the same way. Okay, yeah. See, now you just make, you just calm my, my little fear down. You calmed it down, I could say, a good 50%. Yep. Okay. Check it out. And now, now a Harley's a different beast. That's something that you, you know, they're a heavy bike, and but I will say this for Harley's. I've I've been a stuntman. I've dumped a lot of motorcycles. Okay. On movie sets. Yeah. And when they See, tell me I'm... to dump, when they tell me to wreck or dump a Harley, I go, oh shit, because Harley's don't dump. Ooh. They're weighted. They're weighted to stay on their wheels. Okay. And so, so to get them to spin around and dump, you gotta pretty much cable them around and stuff like wow. that. But okay. And, yeah, if I was to jump on with with someone with a, on a motorcycle, like I would have to like like squeeze around your stomach and like hold my head down into your back. That'll be the only way I'm gonna ride. <laughs> nope. I I I will one night one time when we're not online. Mm hmm Because you won't like the answer. Okay. The the the, the, uh, the the true answer of what a rider needs to do when they're on the back of a Harley mm -hmm. is not what we would call PC correct, politically correct, or HR correct, mm -hmm. or Okay. It's just not. It's okay. something but it, but it's the simplest version I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, and and if 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 you it's your show if you want to hear it I'll tell you. Yes, I do, I do, I do, I do. All I right. do. I, I, I'm gonna tell you. It's I don't don't matter if you're my daughter with... or Dolly Parton. The trick is you keep your tits in my shoulder blades and you're in the right place. Okay. So gotcha. When I when I go around the corner, if they're in my shoulder blades, we're gonna be in the right place. Okay. Okay. That's a, that's it. No uncertain terms. Man. So, but like, if I'm not, what will happen? Oh, with me, I've been riding long enough that 
it don't can, matter. It, okay. it makes it a little it makes it a little harder to make the turn. We just got right. done shooting a movie where we're going down canyons and uh -huh. I've got a cameraman hanging off with the camera Ooh. off the exact wrong side. Oh and, man. You know, so I can still do it. Uh-huh. But now now you're working to keep that <laughs> keep that bike. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Wow. A man I'm gonna call you the the man of many talents. <laughs> o M G. So I know you've been filming. So I mean, you know, what do you do when it's not music, when it's not film? What do you do? I contemplate suicide. Why? Because I'm not doing music or film. Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> <laughs> Look, can you can you can you um give me a freestyle with my name? Sing a song with my name using my name. Let's get you out of that rut. There you go. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> I can definitely do that one. Yes, absolutely. Come on. What you got? Well, let's see. All we right. Will, we, will, we will do that. Okay, there we go. I had said earlier, like, when I knew I was going to do this interview with you, if I could just hear that guitar just one time live. This is so awesome. The water here has been changing so much and it untunes the, the guitar, so I gotta. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Take your time. Take me home, honey said. Take me home. No, we're uh, okay. A take you home song. Yeah. Now you're now you're adding to the. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try this. Here we go. The place where my first true love found. I thought I'd find her there at the general store. It's a shopping mall. That store ain't there no more. Okay. So I went down to our fishing hole. The golf course now, you can't fish no more. There's one thing that I know for sure. I know Teresa Allen don't live here anymore. Teresa don't live here anymore. And nothing is quite like it was before. Hey, silent, not live here anymore. Come on, nothing is quite like it was before. Ooh. I tried to find that old driving show. Hey, I couldn't even find the place it was before. You leave your home, you can set out and chase your dream. That's a bad place, that's how it seems. And there's one thing that I know for sure. I know Teresa Allen don't live here anymore. Hey. Well, Teresa Allen don't live here anymore. 
Lost a little signal. I moved, so I got too excited. Let's see. I'm gonna take you out and bring you back on. Okay, I'm gonna take him out and then bring him back on. Let's go here. Tom Proctor Ben. Do it like that. Let's do it like that. We can bring him back. How awesome. Thank you, Tom Proctor. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, we're going to bring him back on. I think it might be your signal is a little, hmm. We have a little signal. You might have to jump back out and then jump back on one more time. Uh oh, he left out. He can jump back on. So send me a request to jump back on, Tom. Okay, let's see here. Okay, there we go. Go live with Tom Proctor. There All right. Goes. There we go. There we go. There we go. You 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 know Jessica Staples? No, I don't. Wonderful actress out of Southern Utah. Okay. Uh, like amazing. Yes. Let me write it down. Utah. Got it. I will follow her, find her on Instagram and follow her. Check her out. Yeah, she's 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 pretty awesome. Wow. Well, I have, I don't want to go, I don't want to let you go, but I want to thank you for an awesome song. You're welcome. The best, one of the best, one of your best songs. <laughs> I really appreciate it. But I want to thank you for jumping on Spotlight Radio Show, my virtual interview. This has been a phenomenal night. Well, thank you. It has been for me, too. Absolutely. And... and you have my number, which means we're yes. friends. Yes. Don't be a stranger. I will not. I definitely will not. Okay. I know for sure. Um, I definitely, um, I know we'll talk between now and Christmas, but I definitely want to bring you on when it's cold, when you're up in Utah, so I can see the weather and everything. Yeah, so. I'm I'm in the wrong part of Utah for that, and I'll possibly probably be back in uh, L.A. by the time it gets 
Uh, cold, cold. Cold, you know. They, I'm, I'm hoping that the, my work opens back up and it's necessary for me to be in Los Angeles. And, Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know, just it's 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 been a nightmare. Uh, right now, the only thing that is working is my music, and it, it's not working here. It's working, you know, there. Utah and places like that. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I have on on my website. I have, I think I have Working Man like on the front, on the front mm -hmm. wall. I'm not for sure, but I I got your YouTube um, linked on my on my on my homepage of the website. Oh well, thank you, thank yes, you. I yes. appreciate that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so oh, okay, that, dear. And if you if there's ever anything that I can share for you or you know help you out, okay. let me know also. Yes. Same. Likewise. Likewise. You need me, call me. But I'll be texting you soon and talking to you soon. I really appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate you. You take yes, care. Yes. You dear. have a good night. Yes, I will. Okay. God bless okay. you. Thank God you. Bless you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. That was awesome, Tom Proctor. Tom Proctor band right here on Instagram. Shout out to him. Shout out to his whole team. Shout out to the A-listers. Shout out to um, his parents for making him. Shout out to them. God bless. God bless. Um, I appreciate the love, everybody. I am going to sign off right now. Um, catch me live again Monday. Be sure to click the link in my bio. Bye.